Hello everyone, John Farrell's to a Top Spin Tennis. In this video, I'm gonna give you four reasons why you wanna hit with Top Spin. Enjoy the video. All right, before I get into the four reasons why you wanna do it, Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Some of you may have thought that you subscribe to the channel. We're growing. My goal is to get to 100,000 subscribers. We're just over 11,000 with this video. So please hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button as well. And then if you really like the video or my haircut, make sure you share this with other friends, family, and coaches. All right, the four reasons. Reason number one, I've got the Top Spin Pro here. A great teaching tool for hitting topspin. But rule number one is you get more feel when you're hitting with topspin. And by what I mean by that is the ball usually will stay on the strings for about three milliseconds. But by actually getting that ball, coming into that ball from low to high, we actually, the ball will stay on the strings just a little bit longer. So by hitting with topspin and coming from low to high, we're actually able to get a little bit more feel. Reason number two, you get more control. By brushing up that ball and going from low to high, you actually get more control. Watch, I'm gonna, I'll drop feed and hit some of these shots from low to high with some top spin. And I'm able to really accelerate, brush up on that ball and still bring it into the court. So I've got control. I've used the analogy, it's kind of like a child riding a bike, right? If you don't, if you don't have enough speed, what is that child doing? I mean, they're shaking, no control. But as soon as they learn how to start pedaling and getting that speed up, they actually have more control and those handlebars aren't moving as much. The same thing with topspin. Now, don't be fooled. Hitting with topspin, it's a progression. It takes time. You're not gonna do this, you know, coming right out of the gates you know, playing tennis for, you know, the first month. It takes time. You gotta have reps. You gotta understand how to hit this shot. But I've gotten to a point, and it takes time, but I've gotten to a point where the more I accelerate on the ball, the more control I get. Reason number three. I can actually start opening up the court by hitting with top spin. And what I mean by that is, let's say I get to the outside of the ball here. I'm able to hit that angle. So watch what I can do here. I can actually hit that ball to dip. I get that net clearance and then bring it into the court. Top spin allows for you to dip, get the ball over the net, dip into the court, and then open up the court and get your opponent running. Remember, when your opponent is running, you're more likely to either create a short ball or generate an air. So topspin allows me to open up that court. I've talked about this before, but tennis is a game of keep away. We're not playing catch with our opponents. We're trying to get them into emergency situation. One thing I can do with a high heavy ball is I can inflict damage on my opponent by getting the ball up and out of their strike zone. So reason number four is you can hurt your opponent with the heaviness of a shot. I'm able to get that ball up and out of their strike zone. Anytime they're hitting up here, they could that can be a struggle for them, right? I don't wanna be a ball machine and hit everything flat and hard to them, and they're receiving everything in their contact zone, which is like waist high. Once in a while, I'll give them some high heavy shots and get the ball out of their zone. So the swing path may be a little steeper here in order to get that ball to lift up and over the net. So notice how I made all four of those shots. I felt like my swing path was a little bit more steep or low to high, but the intent is to get that ball to clear the net by a considerable distance, come into the court utilizing gravity and that spin, and then when it bounces, it gets high above their strike zone. Anytime we can inflict damage up here, it's gonna be a struggle for our opponents to get that ball back. Notice how I'm a righty, 
I hit every ball to their backhand side. So if I'm playing a righty, I go high and heavy down the line, get that ball up out of their zone, and then hopefully that generates a short ball where I can step up and attack more. I hope you liked that video. Thank you so much for your support. Make sure you share this with friends and family as well. And if you haven't done so yet, hit that like button and that subscribe button as well. Have a great day.